do we value Bitcoin? Bitcoin is this incredibly volatile asset and nobody knows what it's worth. Bitcoin is not a stock. It doesn't have earnings. It's not a bond. It doesn't have a yield. So it's really difficult for most people to try to understand what Bitcoin is worth. How do you value it? You can't value it with traditional ratios that we use in finance, like a price to earnings ratio, for example. There's an entire valuation science for equities, but one doesn't exist for Bitcoin yet. But one way that we can value Bitcoin and come up with a relative valuation is something that's called realized price. With Bitcoin, we don't have earnings or a yield, but we do have the blockchain. This is Bitcoin's network data, and it's available to anybody. We call this data on-chain data because it uses data from Bitcoin's blockchain. What's the difference between market price and realized price? Market price is what you see on the screen. That's what you see on your exchange. That is the price that we know that Bitcoin is trading at in the market. Realized price isn't a market price. Realized price is actually a calculation using the dollar price of Bitcoin every time Bitcoin is transacted on the Bitcoin ledger on its blockchain, not when it's traded in the market. And that's why we have a different market price and realized price. So how do we calculate realized price? What we're doing is we're looking at the time at which each Bitcoin transaction last happened and measuring the dollar price at that time and then averaging those transactions over the entire supply of Bitcoin. In that way, we are getting a longer term investor behavior price of Bitcoin, not a shorter term investor behavior metric. So let me explain that a little bit more. Think about an investor that wants to buy Bitcoin. She sends $10,000 to a Bitcoin exchange. At that time, she purchases Bitcoin at the market price and then withdraws that Bitcoin from the exchange into her own wallet. When the Bitcoin leaves the exchange and goes to her wallet, that is a transaction that's happening on chain. So we would use the transaction that happened at that time. We look at the most recent transaction for each slice of the Bitcoin network and we measure the dollar price at that time. And that's how we come up with this realized value, this realized price for Bitcoin, the price at which it last moved on the chain. The reason that's different from the market price is that market price represents short term behavior. All of those trades that are going on in exchanges that we see on the screen, those are not leaving the exchanges and coming back to investors' wallets all the time. That only happens periodically. So when that happens periodically, we measure those moves as the realized price as opposed to the market price being the fast moving price that you see on your screen. In this way, we think about realized price as the cost basis. What do investors have in Bitcoin from a dollar perspective over a longer term time horizon, not what they're trading around on their exchange. Now, let's take a look at this chart of Bitcoin's realized price versus its market price over time. We can see that the orange line represents Bitcoin's realized price and the black line represents Bitcoin's market price. So what can we observe about the realized price by itself right here? We can see that the realized price moves steadily upward in this stepwise fashion over Bitcoin's history. Right now, the realized price of Bitcoin is about $22,000, where it has been hovering for several months. We can also observe, based off of this graph, you see the little red areas that we've highlighted on the realized price. These are periods in which the realized price slightly declines over time. So it's not a crash down in realized price like we see in the market price of Bitcoin every few years, a massive decline. In realized price, we see this minute decline as basically longer term investors are giving up on Bitcoin in a bear market and they're taking realized losses. They're finally deciding to send their Bitcoin back to an exchange at a lower price than where they withdrew it and they're selling it for losses. And in that way, we get realized losses and a decline in the realized price. Now, the last thing I wanna show you from this graph is let's look at all the periods in which the market price for Bitcoin dips below the realized price. You can see for yourself that through time, looking back, the realized price has served as a 
really good price floor for Bitcoin. This doesn't mean that price can't go below it. In fact, the market price is below realized price right now, but it usually has served as a floor and eventually Bitcoin recovers and bounces back. Now let's move to the next chart to dive into this a little bit more. Okay, in this next chart, we have added one more metric to the screen. So you still have your market price and your realized price, but here we've also added the ratio between the two. This is the relative valuation that we're looking for to try to understand, is Bitcoin cheap today or is it expensive? Well, cheap or expensive versus what? We believe that the realized price is a great way to give us a relative valuation of Bitcoin. So the bottom panel here, this thicker dark orange line is the oscillator that we can look at to view whether Bitcoin is expensive or cheap on a relative basis. So let's look back at this period in 2019 and 2020 when Bitcoin's price dipped below its realized price. On the graph you'll see there are two areas that are around 0.8 to 0.9. This means that the Bitcoin market price is only 80 to 90 percent of the realized price at that time. So that's when you see the ratio dip below one. It means Bitcoin's market price is below its realized price. We actually have that right now. You can see that the number right now of this market value to realized value ratio, or commonly known as MVRV, it's the ratio of market price to realized price. Right now, it is again below one at 0.84. That means that the Bitcoin market price is about 84% of its realized price. This means that longer term investors are actually in loss right now and investors are giving up as we are seeing realized price slightly decline. Now, let's turn our attention to the point on the graph from last year when Bitcoin had a massive run up almost to $70,000. We can see on the chart that the MVRV, the ratio between these two market price and realized price was almost at four, at 3.98. That means that the price at that time of Bitcoin was four times the realized price. Now, in hindsight, we can see that Bitcoin was overvalued at that time relative to its previous history. So yes, MVRV can go north of four and it has in the past, but it is usually at a point where Bitcoin is considered overvalued and investors take profits. So MVRV, the market value to realize value ratio, can also mean the market price to realize price ratio is one way to value Bitcoin and we believe a very important way to think about Bitcoin's price. I want to thank my sponsors ZBD and Voltage. ZBD, providing payment solutions for the gaming industry powered by Bitcoin's Lightning Network. Download the ZBD wallet for a great first Lightning Network wallet. Voltage, providing enterprise grade Bitcoin and Lightning Network infrastructure. Go check out Voltage if you want to spin up a node with Bitcoin and Lightning Network for your business.